Hello, scholars, and welcome back to Art Online with Ms. Haynes. All right, friends, October is National Bully Prevention Month. And to support this movement, people wear the color orange to show unity. Today, we will be making Unity Heroes. That stands for Helping Everyone Respect Others. Here's an example. You'll notice that both of my superheroes are wearing orange and have the word unity. But their capes are different colors and their mask and their background. So get creative and they also look different. However, we want to make sure we include unity in the color orange on their shirts. Let's get started. First, we're going to start off with a U-like shape for our face. Remember, we want to leave that space open at the top for the top of our head shape or our hair. Great, after you draw the U-like shape for your face, you're gonna work on your neck. So you go out and out with straight lines. And then you curve. And then we're gonna curve one more time to give a nice little collar for our superhero suit. Then you're going over with a curved line for the shoulders. And then you're gonna do the same thing, curving it a little for your shoulders on the other side. All right, friends. Then next, we are going to work on more of our face. We wanna add those ears. So you're gonna go a little below the line you started and do the same on the other side using half of an oval shape. Great. Now, here comes the fun part. We're gonna work on our superhero mask. So we're gonna go straight over with a curved line, and then we're gonna go over one more time to create that shape for our mask. Then friends, you can go oval and oval. Make sure you leave space in the middle because we don't want our eyes too close together. And then, do a circle in the middle, a circle in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and color mine in and leave a little shine spot. There you go, friends. Now you have your eyes poking out your mask. And then we're going to do our nose just by doing a U shape again, like a smile. And then we're going to go in again with a big smile line for our smile. And I'll always add more use at the side to give a little cheeky. Okay, now friends, it's time to do the top of our hair. You can do your hair any way you want. I'm gonna do um, a nice shortcut that I see a lot of my students wear for this superhero. So I just go straight across for the hairline and then I'm going up. But you want to do your superhero any way you want, any type of hair you want to do. After you do your hair, then we're going to move on to our superhero suit. All right, so I am going to draw a curved line. This is going to be part of your cape. And then I'm doing another curved line. So now we have our cape draping over our shoulders. And now we're going to do almost like a triangle effect here with a diagonal line. So you go over and over. There you go. We have our other part of our suit. Now you can see we're really rocking out. And because we're talking about unity, I'm going to put unity in the middle of my superhero because that's what my superhero stands for. So I'm going to write U N I. T, Y. I'm even put an explanation point for unity. Okay, and then, so you know, just like in those comic books, our superheroes sometimes have speech bubbles and thinking bubbles. So I'm going to do a nice little speech bubble right here. So I just added a speech bubble because, again, our superhero is about helping everyone respect others. So I'm going to write the words be kind. Now it's time for our favorite part is to color. Get ready. 
Oh, and there you have it, our friends, our super cool Unity superhero. Voila, we have two. All right, friends, thank you for watching Art Online with Miss Haynes. Bye, can't wait to see yours.